hey welcome to this excel video tutorial in this video i'm going to show you a super cool trick you've probably never seen before on how to apply colorful emoji with if and the and logical functions so let's get started please kindly consider subscribing to the channel and turn on the bell icon if you have not done so for more videos so let's dive in Right away, I'm going to show you this picture and it contains what we intend to achieve. Now, in columns A and B, respectively, we have number of stores and number of referrers. Now, we're going to use in column C the if and the and logical functions to return yellow thumbs up where all the arguments are true. And if not, we want to use the red thumbs down. Okay, so let's do that in Excel. So I'm going to come back to Excel. Now I'm going to work things from inside out. Therefore, I'm going to start with and logical functions, which of course checks whether all the arguments are true and returns true if indeed all the arguments are true. So in this case, all the arguments must be true. Now for the logical one, I want to check this value in cell A2. Are you greater than or equal to? three because we are considering three or more store and the referrer in cell b2 are you greater than 15. now when i close the formula and control enter we're going to have bond of true and false okay now we're not done i'm going to f2 the formula to put it in the edit mode and come after the equal sign deploy the if function now the and will form the logical test for the if comma now if the value is true what do i want now i want inside double quote the thumbs up now the thumbs up icon or emoji is considered as a string so i'm going to hold down the window key and press the semicolon or period on my keyboard then i can select the thumbs up and carefully come here put in a comma now if the value is false i need to double quote and inside the double quote i'm going to hold down my window key and press the semicolon on the keyboard and choose the thumbs down and carefully i'm going to close the formula so we have the if and the and formula i'm going to control enter by default the emoji will surely return black font okay it's not going to return red or yellow or any color just no it's going to return black font now i'm going to copy this formula down and we have bond of thumbs up and thumbs down now what we're going to do the super cool trick here is i'm going to control shift down arrow key to select the thumbs up and down control oh, excuse me control shift down arrow key control backspace and we're going to use the conditional formatting which probably you've never seen before using the emoji right in there so come to the home tab and click on conditional formatting now i want to choose highlight cell rules and i'm going to choose text that contains now this is actually not a text okay but do you know that you can actually use the emoji right inside here by pressing the window key and the semicolon or period i'm sure you've probably never seen this before so i'm going to choose the thumbs up now that's going to fill the thumbs up and the cell now that's not done now we have by default light red with dark text red text now i'm going to choose this drop down and go for custom format and that's where the super cool trick also lies now under the font tab i can choose the bold you can even put an italic size but let's just use bold and then we're going to use the color here so let's use the yellow standard color and of course this is the preview i can go ahead and click on ok and we can see the sample and then click on ok this is super cool now let's deal with the thumbs down using the red font color again conditional formatting I like cell rules. I want to choose text that contains and then window key, semicolon on the keyboard, the thumbs down, and then I can choose the custom format in here, custom format. And in the custom format, I want to apply bold under the font. I want to choose whatever color, but in this case, let's choose you know red standard color. And then we can click on OK, and then we can click on OK. Cool, this is wonderful. So this is basically the trick on how to apply colorful emoji 
in our formula now let's check whether this is actually true or not now the condition is either three or more store and we find above 15 now the condition was satisfied here because this is 3 and 4 is greater than 3 and of course 16 is above 15 so the conditions are satisfied in rule number 2 and we have the terms up now in this second line in rule number 3 the condition was only satisfied there because 18 is of course above 15 but this one was not satisfied because one is less than three or more okay so it wasn't satisfied so let's check this one in this case in rule number six the tr all conditions the true were satisfied and we have the terms up so this is basically how we can use the conditional formatting to apply colorful emoji in our formula if you like it please like comment share and consider subscribe to the channel if you have not done so because there is a lot to come thank you and bye for now cheers